Welcome back everybody, it's your favorite German potato. Wow, I didn't say this for the past two and a half years, I think. I'm glad to be back. Alongside being a little rusty potato on the racing track, I'm going to show off one of the best S1 class cars in this game, which is the Dodge Viper Anniversary Edition, if you install drag tires. Today's tune was provided by K1Z Bart, go get it. So the first race leads us to the Linera Costera Sprint, and when I said I didn't make a video for the past 2.5 years, I also didn't play the game for the past 2.5 years. I don't know these new tracks. Oh jeez, okay. I stopped playing the game when the Hot Wheels expansion was actually released. So yeah, that was almost blindfolds here. I think it was the second time I raced this track. And against the Ferrari FXX, the Lotus GT1, uh, Diablo GTR. What can possibly go wrong, guys? So we're starting from the last position, but due to the drag tires, this car has insane acceleration, as you can see. We're overtaking almost the whole field of cars. And then to the right, and then it's the first corner I basically didn't know, so that's why you see this potato line. People overtaking me on the inside, the Zonda here, in the special Oreo edition. Deco also, yeah, rocking this Viper there. Uh, hey mate, what's up? And we've got Danilo in front of us, in the Ferrari. I'm trying to overtake him here on the outside. Didn't quite work, but we're still there. Gamer Rice behind us in the Diablo GTR, taking the inside here. I was very, very cautious, too cautious actually, but we're getting our position back. So 30% are over and we are in the lead. Here you can also see how much straight line speed this Viper actually has. And now we are breaking into this 90 degree turn and we're slightly too late. Guys, trust me, this car is a bit tricky to drive in these tight turns, which shows now, oh my God, don't know the line, don't know the car basically, and then this happens. We're even getting slowed down, oh my God. But Danilo, our man, he's pushing us. Thanks for that, Danilo. Kudos to you. So we are hunting the Diablo. The rusty little German potato is hunting Gamer Rice. Touching the wall here and now, yes! High speed collision detected and <laughs> we're getting ghosted. That's why we can overtake him. Thanks to the game for that. And then I'm slightly too early here, but Gamer Rice is overshooting, which puts us in a very comfortable position, I'd say. 30% left. Um, we are interpreting these track limits pretty alternatively, let's say. And yeah, we have to hope that Gamer Rise and his Diablo GTR, which is also one of the best cars in S1 class with drift tires, I already made a video about it, doesn't catch up. Again, interpreting this stuff here very, very alternatively. 10% uh, left, he's getting closer. Hearts are pounding, is he catching up? No, he is not. Which means we're winning the first race in this comeback video. And once again, track number two, the San Juan Sprint, a track I didn't know beforehand. Again, it's basically the same car as Gamer Rise in the Viper now. So let's jump straight into the action. Once again, an amazing start, which is one of the biggest advantages of this car, basically. But as you can see, we're sliding around a bit. Um, the car is tricky to drive due to its drag tires. Heading to the right here, still having the lead in front of the McLaren, driven by LRK Jua. And oh, smoke again, so we still have this, yeah, little server issue here in Forza Horizon that we always see smoke in these cars. So, now again, 90 degree turn to the left. Jua on the inside, overshooting it. I'm overtaking him again. 40% over, we're still in the lead. Where's Gamer Rise in the Viper? Only on a 10th, so he's not important here in this race. Last time he was in the Diablo. And now this happens. Oh my God, underestimating Bye, this time. turn. And yeah, we are done, guys. What a noob mistake. But yeah, I definitely wanted to keep it in the video since, you know, I didn't know these tracks. So this was basically the story of my life yesterday when I shot this video, basically, right? So now it's all about defending against Waffle behind us, who is um, driving a Honda NSX, I think. So last turn, 
Also again, a bit too early, you need to counter steer, which means we are hitting this wall at the end, but we keep our position, which is good. By the way, if you're wondering how can I actually get this car, it's very easily obtainable. Just head to the main island of the game and search for the Horizon origin story. Uh, you just have to play through it and then this car is yours. And now, as you can see, this is the Sierra Baird Sprint, one of my, yeah, let's say favorite tracks, actually a track that I know from my past. <laughs> I sound like a grandpa, right? And as you can see, I also brought GTZ Marble back, the legend himself. And he's going to hunt us down without mercy here on this track. He's rocking the Diablo GTR, which is amazing on this track as well. The Viper is cool too. As you can see, we're using the whole track here to not lose any time. But in the next turn, I'm... Yeah, throttling slightly, so he is getting back, he's there, he's right behind us. Now, getting down to fourth gear, oh, close to this tree and Marple is behind us. I can already smell his, yeah, very interesting breath, let's put it this way. And now the mistake happens. I was, yeah, too late on my brakes, uh, like I've done before in this video and Marple is there, he says hello. Hello, cutie pie. What are we doing? Now, in this happen, the car is understeery, but Marble pushes us in the right way and he's losing control because of it and also speed. And this, yeah, puts us in a very, very good position here. Um, going down to third gear here, I don't know, maybe second could be faster, I don't really know. And now, for the rest of this race, I'm very, very cautious so that Marble isn't, yeah, overtaking us anymore. Ooh, dangerous stuff, dangerous stuff, but we are surviving and we are winning on the Sierra Word Sprint. So while we're starting the last race of the video in which I was actually attempting a Johnson challenge in which I always yeah, let every single one pass and try to win this race, which might be a bit too bold for a comeback video, we will see. Um, I also want to tell you what you can expect from me in the next couple of weeks. So this is no one-off video. I definitely plan to be back and yeah, be part of this Forza Horizon community oh, again. Um, for that, I yeah, like always want to show you the new cars and I also want to show you the best cars in terms of listicles and stuff like that. So to be part of this community, please join us on Discord. They are always announcing our recording sessions so that we can rock together. In this video I was using the custom adventure mode, it's cool, but racing with you guys is definitely more amazing and yeah, let's check out the game together. By speaking of community, many thanks to ESV Mars who updated me about the game and yeah, told me basically everything that I missed in the past two and a half years. And as you can see, this Johnson challenge was not successful. 